Welcome to the Den of Doom. Tonight it's time for another swim session. Hopefully you caught my entry. <laughs> now then, hopefully you've had a great day and you're ready to rock and roll once again for a dry land swim session. It's not a technical session today. We're going to do some long arm endurance, shoulder strength building session. New day, new costume. Hope you're loving it. Right, we're going to take it down so that we're going to go down on the ground. I'm going to give you a few minutes to join in with me. All you need tonight are your mat, a water bottle, which I have just up there, and your bands. It's a band session again tonight. We are, however, starting with some core work that requires no equipment at all except for perhaps your water bottle for the kinetic chain. Welcome to the Den of Dew. It's another dry land swim session this evening. Oh, thumbs up if you're ready to go. According to my watch, it is just gone six o'clock and we're all ready to rock. Great day. Okay, right, so we're gonna start off with 30 seconds of kinetic chain, then flutter kick, my favorite. Then we're gonna do bird dog, really focusing on keeping that transverse abdominus tucked in so no dips in the back tonight. And then we're going to add a new one, which are windscreen wipers. Basically we lie on our backs and we move our legs from one side to the other. Okay, hopefully the internet is working and we're not gonna have any glitches. I do have my backup GoPro on just in case. So fingers crossed, we will have a video this evening, which is almost perfect. Right. Okie doke, kinetic chain first. I'm just going to grab, or oh, need to make sure, sorry, I do apologise. Need to make sure we're warming up these shoulders. Hi, give me a thumbs up if you've just come on board. Let me know that you're here. And we're going to do some arm circles, so nice big circles. And with these circles tonight, we're just going to make them get smaller and smaller with every circle that you do. That's it. I can remember doing this as a, as a girl guide once. I made us do it for ages and I thought my arms were going to drop off. So smaller circles each time. Then when we get into the middle, we're going to change direction. Just making them bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm not going to be harsh and make the circles go on forever, I promise. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're mobilising the joints. We're encouraging the development of synovial fluid, which will protect those shoulder joints and some slaps. Okay. So one above, one below, give it a slap. Give it a slap, fantastic. Keep it going. Well done. And again, two more, and one more, and relax. Okay, take one shoulder up, take it back. Take the other shoulder up and take it back. And then just alternate them nice and slowly to begin with. And then we're just going to increase the pace of that. Now place your hands on the shoulders, take it forwards. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to increase the pace and really warm that upper body up. Fantastic. Okay, keep it going. And backwards with your arms. This is our backstroke now. Get the speed up. And relax. Both shoulders up. Give it a bit of a squish. Head to one side. Head to the other side. Drop your head down. I think the neck is taking quite a battering with these dry land swim sessions. Turn your head to one shoulder, back to the centre, and then around and look over the other shoulder. Fantastic. Hopefully you've warmed up. Maybe you've done a little bit of exercise before joining me this evening and that's been your warm up. Absolutely fabulous if it is. <clears throat> okay, just do a few hip circles to make sure that our lower back is ready for the core work that we're going to do. Clearly I'm doing the kneeling down, but if you're standing up, that's absolutely fine. Again, mobilising our hip joints deep in here and making sure that our lumbar spine is loosened off. Okay, so we're just going to stick your bottom out and tuck your bottom in. So a bit of happy cat, angry cat, but standing up. Brilliant. That's it, well done, absolutely fantastic. Now, the first thing that we're going to do are the kinetic chain. So lying on the floor, I'm hoping that you can see me. So from where you are, what we're planning to do 
Here's Tom's put his bike in here. I've told him only one bike in the house at a time. <clears throat> but he doesn't listen. <laughs> okay, so for our kinetic chain, we're going to lift those legs by squeezing our buttocks together and then we're going to take them round. We're going to do 30 seconds of everything. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Three, two, one, off we go. Whoop, make, make sure the lid is on of your bottle. Nice big circles. Keep your legs high. Squeeze those cheeks. That's 10 seconds gone. Oops. <laughs> a little itch. 20 seconds have gone. Two, one, and relax. Brilliant. From here, we're going to do our normal flutter kick. So lying down, making sure the small of your back is into the ground. And another 30 seconds. In three, two, one, off we go. Keep that neck nice and relaxed. Keep that lower back pushed in. Come on, well done. Keep it going. 10 seconds left. Five, three, two, one, and relax. Brilliant, well done. And now on to bird dog. So as I said with bird dog, really want you to make sure, it looks like the dog's been in here in the water. What I want to make sure is that this is engaged and your back doesn't dip like that. Remember, we can try and, and balance a water bottle on there. Don't know if it's going to... And see if we can keep it on. So what you're doing with bird dog is we're lifting... Whoop, it's not going to stay. We're lifting the leg and the opposite arm. And engage, oh, engaging the core the whole time. And we've got 30 seconds of that. Starting in three, two, one. Off we go. Keep that tummy tucked in. Keep the movement smooth. Ten seconds gone. Don't let the back arch. The back arch. No hollows in that back. Nice, slow action. Five seconds left. Squeeze that butter and relax. Not too bad. It's all about engaging and keeping that core nice and strong. Now for the windscreen wipers, the master plan is, I'll demonstrate first, is that you put your legs up in the air and you drop them down to one side, keeping those legs together. Lift them up and drop them down to the other. Now you do it so that you're about, I don't know, six to eight inches off the ground before you repeat. And we're going to do that again for 30 seconds. Okay, I'm just gonna get away from the, the bike a little bit. Going in, three, two, one, down we go. If that's too much for you, don't touch the floor. What you want to do is make sure you can bend your legs in order to do it. Keep it going, 30 seconds. 15 done. Nice smooth action. Three, two, one, and relax. So hopefully you've got the gist of what we're doing there and hopefully you're all joining in. A few more moments to just relax and back into the kinetic chain. I quite I've used slightly heavier weight this evening and actually I found it a little bit easier, to be honest, to get some nice movement in that kinetic chain. <coughs> so, we're going to go in five, clench those buttocks, three, two, one, off we go. So 30 seconds of effort. Okay, we're nearly halfway there, well done. 
If you're struggling, if your back is cramping, let your legs go down. Almost there, just five seconds left. And relax. Bend into flutter kick. So turning over, lower back down. You want to put your arms up here, that will make it slightly more difficult. Three, two, one, off we go. Push that tummy down, suck it in, think of the transverse abdominis. 15 seconds gone. Five left. Come on, well done. Two, one, and relax. Great. As I said before, all this core work is just about teaching that core to engage all the time. And into bird dog. On, in position, if you want to take this up a bit further, you can do a bird dog from a plank position. <clears throat> Focusing on technique, going in. Three, two, one, off we go. Keep that back as flat as you possibly can. Nice and smooth. About two seconds to go up and two to go down. So one, two, one, two. Great, halfway there. Squeeze that glute at the top. Tuck that tummy in. Almost there. And relax. Well done. <coughs> and then the windscreen wipers. Remember, if the long up leg is too much for you, you can do a short windscreen wiper. Not a problem. <coughs> Going in three, two, one. Off we go. Don't touch the floor. Just before you touch the floor, you come back up again. Try and keep your feet together throughout, both shoulders on the floor. That's 10 seconds gone. 15 seconds gone. 20 seconds gone. Three, two, one, back to the center. And relax. I have to admit there was a little bit of cheating going on there. I was helping my legs come across with the little power of my elbow. But it's all about getting that energy through the core. If you can do it without the elbows giving you a little bit of assistance, that's fantastic. That's even better. Okay, so from here now we're going to do our snow angels. There are several ways of doing snow angels. I'm going to use the bands out in front of me. <clears throat> and then behind. So I'm going to take my bands off the bike here, which is what I'm using in order to do the session. <clears throat> I'm going to wrap the, the bands around my hands, but just a bit wider than shoulder distance apart. Then we're just going to take it out. I'm going to do <clears throat> them out to the front to begin with. So it's a nice, long, slow movement. Okay, so we'll start those. We're doing eight of those to the front and eight of them to the back. So just slightly wider than shoulder width and we take it out and bring it round. Now I'm using the least resistance band but because I'm holding it obviously shorter than it is, it's still providing plenty of resistance. That's one. So each time we come back up to the top Well, that's two. Keep it smooth, keep control, keep the shoulder blades back and together. And three. Don't let it just snap together at the top, you're controlling that. And at the bottom. And we come to the end of number five. Quite hard, it's quite challenging. Number six, and you did six last time we did these. It's 
So if you're doing more now, that's absolutely amazing. And seven. And eight, I think. Well done. <clears throat> now we're going to take them to the back. Don't worry if the band actually rolls down your back, okay? Because I want you to keep your arms quite close to your body. So what you'll find is that you might be rolling down your back at some point. Okay, so it bands up. So we're changing the angle and working the muscles in a slightly different way. So just wider than shoulder dis uh, distance apart. Three, two, one, we take it down. Now we really must control them coming in together. That's it, good. And there's one. And two, keep that control all the way, three, one for this round. Okay, there's eight. Brill. Now from here we're going to do <coughs> internal and external rotations. So I will place my band back upon my stationary bike, which is on the turbo. As I said before, that's, that's fine. Somebody was worried about their turbo sliding across the room, but it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. Because you're not really putting that much effort. It's all about just stabilising these joints. So we're going to do the internal rotations initially. So I've got quite a bit of resistance on here now. Tucking my back in, trying to keep my elbows in throughout. And then I'm just going to bring it right across my body today. So in the past we've just gone to our to the middle, but I want to go right across. So we're going to do this. We've got 15 of these to do in three, two, one. Off we go. There's number one. Keeping it smooth. Two. Keep your back as still as you can. Engage that core. Three. Four. Should be solid as a rock. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Remember, I'm watching you. <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Brilliant. Okay, that was the internal rotations. Now to the external rotations. All you do is you turn around, same thing. I want you to try and keep your back as flat as possible for these. You can do it standing or sitting, <coughs> whichever is best for you. Obviously my, my bike is quite low, so it's probably worked better than I, I do this one sitting. So tuck the elbows in once again, pull your shoulders back, so you're squeezing those elbows, you're working those muscles, and we're ready to go. In three, two, one, take the movement out as far as is comfortable for you. That's one, two, Three, four, upper body should be tight, tummy tucked in. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, and last one, 15, well done. Taking the bands off again. <coughs> Move back a little. Wrap them around the hands, slightly wider than. You can finish it off for me, shoulder distance. Take them above the head. We're going to go to the front first, and we're doing eight of these. Smooth, controlled movements. Off we go. Shouldn't really feel too strenuous. Just keep that control. 
There's one. And two. And three. And four. And five. And six. Well done, keep it going. And seven, keep those arms nice and straight. And I think, I think there's one more. I think I just threw an extra number in there somewhere. And eight, brilliant. If we did one extra, no big deal. Same thing, now going to the back. Keep it slow, keep it controlled. That control is what's making all the difference. It's getting all those tiny muscles to fire, waking them up. And saying, take care of this joint. <clears throat> okay, slightly shoulder, wider than shoulder distance. Three, two, one, down we go. Nice and slow. Keep control. Brilliant, well done. And number three coming up. Fantastic. Hopefully you're engaging that core all the way through. Tucking it in tight. We are going to have tiny, tiny waist by the end of this. It's only taken 15, however many years to get rid of all the baby fat. Right, probably on to 14. Ready to do the external rotations. Don't let yourself sag. I just saw myself doing it there. Tuck that pelvis under. Get comfortable. Tuck yourself in. Keep that back nice and flat. Three, two, one, take it round. Two, three, four, keep that control. Five, take it back as far as is comfortable. Six, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Brilliant, well done. Give your shoulders a little bit of a shiggle. 
loosen them off because what we're going to do next is I think it's uh, nine minutes of hard work but we're having a minute rest after the first minute, second minute, the third minute and then we're working back down the pyramid. It's going to be long arm work so we're really focusing on sort of strength of those shoulders. If at any time it's too much, just stop. Have extra rest. Don't worry about it. The fact that you're doing something is better than doing nothing. Layer on that fitness at your own level, bit by bit by bit. Don't go, oh gosh, it's too hard, can't do it. Focus, do what you can, and then next week, you may be able to do some more. Okay, I'm just gonna get into position. <clears throat> I'm going to do it standing, but if you're struggling with your back, then you can get the physio ball. Okay, so with the long arm, so it's down and back. Okay, I need to use my stopwatch again because I can't remember my password to download the app that I was looking for in. <coughs> okay, we're on the bike on here apparently. <laughs> Three, two, one, off we go. So long arm, just opposite arms, let it come back. That's it, nice long arms. Get a bit of a rhythm going. We're just looking at strength, if that's not enough. If you need more resistance, then obviously step a little bit further away from your anchor point. Keep your back nice and flat. This is probably, the back is probably what's gonna ache before your shoulders. So we're 30 seconds into this, so well done. Keep it going. Nice flat back. Bearing in mind, eight weeks ago, there was nowhere I could have stood here for a minute with a bad back. And the muscle, the strength the exercises that we've been doing made a massive, massive difference. Three, two, one, and that's your first minute done. Well done. <coughs> I think I'll leave it on that. I'll work it out from there. So it's going to be, I think, 16 minutes in total for the whole session with a minute's rest in between. So you can either, like your arm, hold on to your band, or you can just, just limber up those shoulders. I'll give you a 30 second and then 15 seconds to go count down, so don't panic. <laughs> Grab yourselves a drink if you need to. Hopefully, my heart rate's gone up a little bit from that one. I'm not wearing my heart rate monitor. Maybe I shall next time you can find out actually how much it is boosting my metabolism. Okay, we've got 20 seconds to go. I'm going to grab for this one. It's two minutes. So that's going to take us up to four minutes on my clock. I have to say that so I know. Okay, back flat, 10 seconds to go. Five, three, two, one, and off we go. Opposite arms, getting the blood flowing to these our muscles, to our shoulders, to our backs. It's all gonna make a difference. 15 seconds gone, well done. Just keep a count of where you are, like I said, not enough resistance. Take yourself further away. If you start to get tired, move closer to your source. It's just like swimming, you just slow down. There's 30 seconds coming up. 30 seconds gone, well done. Keep it going. Just let the band take your arm back. That's your recovery. You're not resisting it. A minute and 10 seconds left in this one. Well done. <coughs> Keep that back nice and flat. Spot the rhythm. Get a rhythm. If the legs are bouncing to the rhythm, that's fine. A little bit of dancing is fine. 55 seconds left. 50 seconds. Starting to hurt the triceps a little now. 45 to go. Come on. Well done. Come on. Well done. 30 seconds left. We move a little bit closer to it. It's hard work. Go. It's not easy. 15 to go. 10 to go. 5, 3, 1, and relax. Okay, so you've got a full minute now to relax. Have a drink. Definitely need a drink 
from that little effort. Stretch your back, if needs be, in the opposite direction. Whew. So we've got three minutes for the next one. So two was quite hard. Three minutes for the next. We've got 33 seconds to go. Twenty-five seconds to go. So I'm just going to grab my bands now. If at any time during this long effort you want to stop, just stop, stand up, and then rejoin me when you're ready. <coughs> I say rejoin me. I might not be able to do the full three. Okay, you've got ten seconds left. Getting into position. Tuck that tummy in. Engage your core. Three, two, one. Three minutes to go. Off we go. So that's going to take me up to eight minutes. I'm going to take a little bit easier this time, not start off with quite so much enthusiasm. Long arm pulls. We're just getting the blood. We want to build up that mitochondrial density in the upper body so we can produce energy in these muscles. Superb. That's the first 30 seconds almost done. It's done. First 30 seconds done.
on my clock. Keep it controlled. I'm moving away. I'm feeling confident. Maybe I shouldn't. 15 gone. Thirty seconds gone. Keep that bend in the knees. Forty. Forty-five seconds gone. Well done. Nearly halfway to this effort. Keep it going. Well done. Okay, halfway, one more minute left. Less than a minute now. Seems like a long time. <laughs> okay. 45 seconds left. Come on, well done. Conversations. Okay. Three, two, one. One minute. That's all we've got left. That's absolutely brilliant. Oh. Keep that position. Keep it tight. Keep that tummy tucked in. Tight waist. 45 seconds to go. shoulders are loose and ready for your training sessions tomorrow whatever they may be. I think we've got a run and a strength session tomorrow evening so please join me for the strength session if you can. Right to make sure that our head are nice and loose the neck, put your head to the side, put your hand here, just increasing that stretch one of the stretches I really like here is, first of all, we turn our head or our chin up toward the ceiling and then we take it right down, having pressure on that head the whole time to look under the armpit. Hold it there, two, three, and slowly but surely 
bring the chin back up and looking up at the ceiling. Oh, it's a favourite of mine. And back down again. Okay. Make sure that chin goes towards that armpit so that you're getting a full range of stretch across those neck muscles, not missing any out. And then all the way round and back up. Okay, back to the centre and bring it up nice and gently. Squish your shoulder in, that can usually feel a little bit tight, but squish it in to help release those muscles. Now place your hand on the other side, hold it there for a few moments. I like to keep this arm down, just so making sure that we get that full stretch across the shoulder. Okay, now we're going to take the head up. And then, oh, there's some good bits there. And down to look under that armpit. Hold it there. Two, three, and then slowly bring it, really slowly. Remember, anything is too painful, don't take it, just relax. Stop where you are, and all the way up. And then one more time, back down. Keeping the pressure on the head, so you feel the stretch moving throughout the head. Tilt. Taking it up. Oh, that one's so good. <laughs> Take that chin right up to the ceiling. Bring it back to the middle. Go up your head. Lift your hand. Oh, and a nice squish there. Brilliant. Now to stretch, we're just going to bring it across. Again, as I've said before, don't, if you pull it up, the trapezius doesn't get a stretch as part of it. So we want to make sure that tra upper trapezius in particular is being stretched as well across that deltoid muscle. So stretch right across. You can put your arm either straight out or you can wrap it around. Some people prefer. But I want you to really think about keeping that shoulder as low as possible. And let's change arms. So you bring the other arm around, keeping the shoulder down, either straight across or wrapped around, and push that shoulder down. If you need to deepen the stretch, you can tilt your head again to one side. So it's a trapezius and rear anterior deltoid stretch. And head back to the middle and around. Now we're gonna take the shoulders back Squishing those shoulders, we're going to stretch now across the front here and squeeze those shoulder blades together, stretching across the chest. Be careful again not to round, just lifting the chest without rounding the back. And I'm going to bring my physio ball in or a chair, whatever you've got handy. Bear with me for a moment. Get that lat stretch in. So what we're doing here is you're just leaning on the ball, drop your head down in. You can do the downward facing dog for this. Think about your core as well, don't let you again let it dip too much. Now you should feel a stretch down the triceps. I can feel it on my right, but not so much on my left. Now with this one, another one I'm going to do with you is slightly different. What you're doing is I want you to place your arm either on, like I said, a chair or this, and you're dropping down. So we're now doing this anterior deltoid, but you're just going to drop down as far as is comfortable in order to feel that stretch. So for some of you, it may be further than others. I'm not quite sure. That's it. I can feel it now. Not my stretch. And over to the other side, 
can use in the ball. Again, like I said, you can use a chair, you can use anything. You can use a wall, you can use a partner if you've got someone to just lift your arm up behind you. Okay. Take that stretch. Take your arm a little bit further away from your body if needs be. And what you might find from doing all the dry land work is obviously our bodies haven't been used to having that much resistance in some of those movements. So you might be finding a little bit sore in the shoulders. Please make sure that if they are sore that we mobilise them quite a lot beforehand. But also be aware that you could get tendonitis in the shoulders. So like I said, if anything is too painful, make sure you stop. Because you want to... What you save today will save you in the future. If you push forwards when you're in pain, you could do further damage and then have to have a layoff again. Imagine there'd be nothing worse than the, the sea is open, the pools are open, but you've got tendonitis in the shoulders and some issues there that you can't actually go in and swim. So please always listen to your body, proceed with caution, and I will hopefully see you for some strength tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me. All the best now. Take care.